How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. So on this video, as you can tell by the title, it is all about LED lighting and uh, some of the key areas that I think Acura failed and didn't follow through and just cheaped out, I guess, a little bit on some uh, LED lighting. Um, they did a great job with the headlights and the tail lights, and for the most part, the map lights and the, a lot of the interior lighting. But for some reason, certain spots, they uh, felt, I don't know why, maybe it's cost effectiveness or whatever. But uh, if you own one of these, or if you've uh, been doing some research, you know that these bulbs right here, these are puddle light bulbs. Um, they have a super high fail rate. In fact, mine stopped working about a week after I got the car. They started by flickering and then eventually just basically crapped out. Um, I spoken to my uh, DPSM and uh, he says they're eventually gonna be having a TSB or so. I know some guys have, have gotten them replaced and once again, within a week or two, they fail. So they're, uh, it is pretty annoying because obviously you want them to work, but since they aren't flickering, I don't mind that they're out. And at this point, I'm gonna wait for a TSB because in order to change these, you gotta rip the mirror apart and you want, um, you don't wanna take it out uh, too many times. So until there's a permanent fix from Honda or Acura, I should say, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave them like that. So the first and easiest bulb uh, we could do an upgrade is right here. You're gonna take a pick or a pocket screwdriver. This is inside the trunk and you're just gonna pry it in this fashion right over here has a release tab I'm gonna pull it down just like this and as you can see I already have a new bulb in there this is a 194 bulb so real easy simple upgrade and uh, really effective especially at night time when you're trying to see the stuff in here and then you just um, go ahead and pop this back in just like that so the second set of bulbs you're gonna change is inside the vanity lights right here and the vanity mirrors once again, I have upgraded already. And as you can see, it's nice and bright. You're gonna take again your, your pick or your pocket screwdriver. You're gonna slide it right into this little pocket here and pop this out just like that. So as you can see, the bulbs are already in there. Um, one thing to note when installing these bulbs, if uh, they don't work, simply just flip them around because they are uh, diodes which you could uh it only pulls current in one direction so i did that one obviously this one right here and uh that's a nice little upgrade that you guys could do fairly cheap and easily so uh the last upgrade that we have to do over here is uh the led right inside of here the glove box um it's not lit right now because i took out the bulb initially i, I assumed it was a 194 bulb but it's not this tiny bulb right here, I believe it's a C5. Uh, once again, I'll have uh, the link in the description so you guys can order it and it should be super uh, bright in comparison to the stock bulb. To change that, you're just gonna pull over here, nice and gentle. If it's winter out um, and real cold, if you live uh, you know, Northern States of America or in Canada or something like that, you're gonna wanna warm up the car, let the interior warm up. To avoid any of this cracking uh, you know there's plastic behind here plastic clips so they do crack real easy another note is if you have uh, smaller hands you probably just need a part of you know uh, like this just a little bit just enough to get in there if you have bigger hands and you want to take out you know the whole uh, trim panel right here all right so there you go the bulb is in um, it's a three uh, three-sided bulb right here so it should provide plenty of light it's nice and uh, bright and white. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back now. This is a twist socket. So you just put it into place and you turn it about a quarter turn to the right or so. Obviously to remove it, you turn it uh, counterclockwise a quarter turn or so. So now you're gonna put the socket back in its hole. And turn to the right and it is locked in place. Now you're gonna go, just maneuver this back into place and just give it a nice soft push. And you are good to go. See the light working right in there. It's hard to tell now because it's daylight, but um, you should definitely notice a huge improvement in uh, nighttime. 
there you go guys we've done four bolts fairly cheap i think it cost me about 20 25 bucks or so it took me about five minutes to install them you can have all the links in the description to all uh, three different numbers of the bulbs and like this if you wanted to do this upgrade yourself you could very easily once again if you have a tlx and you have the puddle light failure be patient there is a tsb coming i don't recommend you take it to the dealer to change them because they're going to put the same exact part number that you have in there now and they're gonna fail almost guaranteed. This is like a 90 to 95% fail rate. So wait until there's a TSB or something or at least an upgraded part and like that, you guys want to go back uh, multiple times. As always guys, thanks for watching. Please stay tuned for more videos just like this one.